I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you rupture your aorta. First, to demonstrate, oh, this is my aorta in case you were wondering. You're moving around at a fast speed, choo, 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 and then all of a sudden, you hit something, pow, and you go from being really fast to really slow, a sudden stop. That is a deacceleration injury. Now what happens is the top part of your aorta moves up and forward, and but this bottom part, the thoracic aorta, stays still and holds tight thanks to the ligamentum anteriosum. And so as a result of this moving and this standing still, there's an increase of inner pressure. And the three layers of the aorta are burst through with blood, then all of a sudden, kapow, kapow, you start bleeding out and you die. That is very unfortunate and sad. But once in a while, you'll get really lucky. And while the first two layers may rupture through, the top layer, the thin layer, the, advent the adventitious layer will hold steady. And what will happen is a false aneurysm will form, a su traumatic pseudoaneurysm. And that blood starts pooling in an intimal hematoma, but it's held in by that thin layer of the aorta and the surrounding structures. Now, the people with this will be your 20% that survive to reach medical care. However, you always have to be careful because at any time this aneurysm or pseudoaneurysm could, it's supposed to pop, a little pop for the presentation, <laughs> and pow, you could bleed out. The end.